she left, she was talking about, I mean, it's just been rumored for years that Mark Harmon is not the nicest of guys, especially on set, and that makes me really sad. Um, that makes me really sad. So, I love NCIS, and so NCIS Criminal Minds, as you can tell, it's kind of ex explanatory. They're profiling criminals, so it's more to do with the psychological aspect of profiling. NCIS is the Naval, it stands for the Naval Criminal Investigation Investigative Service. So, they track down terrorists and other high-profile um, criminals. So, I've always enjoyed NCIS. Like I said, I used to like it more. Um, I, I love the entire cast. I can't say much about it. It's just not my perfect crime show. Um, and I do feel that it does get a tad bit more repetitive of the same thing. And the storylines aren't always my favorite. So, that's why it's not a den for me. So, Lucifer, Lucifer, ugh, Lucifer's such a cutie, let's just talk about that. So, Lucifer is the Lord of Hell. Um, so, he is the devil, and he, um, opens a nightclub, and he forms a connection with a homicide detective. So, it has, like, this supernatural and meets, um, crime, you know, show, uh, which is, which is always a wonderful aspect. It's kind of like, I love Supernatural for that reason, like, the actual show Supernatural. Um, I love when you have a plot when they're solving an actual crime, but you get a supernatural, um, like, magic aspect. I love that. So, Lucifer, I'm also going to rate a five, a four to a five. Number one, Lucifer, his justice looks alone is over a ten. He's such a cutie. Um, but I just couldn't get into this, which makes me so mad because I, like, the show is a thousand percent something that I would just adore, but I just couldn't get into it. I I don't know why I couldn't, but I want to. I feel like it's, I don't think it's Lucifer. I think it's me. I don't think it's the Lord of Hell. I think it's me. Like, I think I need to rewatch this and see what's wrong with me because, um, I, I know that it's a good one. So, The Blacklist, ugh, James Spader, um, 11 out of 10. So, actually, I would rate Law & Order SVU a 20 out of 10, and The Blacklist is a 19 out of 10. I love The Blacklist so much. James Spader, number one, he reminds me so much of my grandpa that passed away um, when I was 16, so around five years ago. Um, and my dad also resembles James Spader very much, and his brothers. My dad was just, I was telling him the other day, I was like, Dad, uh, that's why I love the blacklist, is sometimes I just, you know, he just reminds me of you. And, um, Chapstick just fell in the seat, but, um, he was saying in high school, he had, I guess, when, I don't even know when James Spader did Boston Legal, but, anyways, he was told in high school that he looked like James Spader, which I don't see in high school, but, um, maybe, I don't know, anyways, so, that's just a little add-on, but the, I have never even over Law & Order SVU, and this is a bold, bold, ballsy statement, the blacklist story plots are better than Law & Order SVU. I'm sorry, I said it. I feel bad, I feel like I should, you know, go do confession after saying this, but the plots in this show are such like, they really mess with your mind, and they start making you think about everything that happens in our world, and all the 
Nancy Drew and her crimes, not all these relationships. So I really do like Riverdale's cast, and I think I could even push through watching it to the most current season sarcasm looking at myself in the viewfinder, but because I'm in a new setup, and I keep feeling like my hair is, um, like, getting caught in my eye. Anyway, I'm just trying to make sure it's not. So, anyway, I think I could catch up with Riverdale and be fine. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, all this outside serpent stuff just got boring. Um, so. But I enjoy the cast in the show and in real life, I think. Lily Reinhardt, who, oddly enough, looks like my sister, Grace, Grace, Grace B, who also creates ASMR, if you've ever seen her. Um, anyways, Lily Reinhardt just stands for some really awesome stuff and says, and says some awesome stuff. So, you, 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 you. I get the show at 10 out of 10, to be honest with you. I love, love you. I think that I loved, I liked the first season better, but the second season was intriguing, um, and kind of, actually no, I, I can't even say that, so the first season for me held so much angst, I thought it was so good, um, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I liked way more than I liked Love. Isn't that her name? The main girly in the second season. I loved her character and I know so many people said, oh, she was boring. I don't, I don't care. I, I liked her. Um, sorry, my hair is all over the place, but oh well. So I loved Beck and I love Ben um, Bagley. I did watch Gossip Girl, so my favorite. I think I watched it in like years old. I think I started watching it, and I, even then, it was too much drama for me. I don't like that kind of girly TV show. Like, I love a good girly TV show, but that's too far for me, and I'm not about it. Um, but I think him in real life, I think, um, Joe in real life is probably a really great guy. Again, just someone who stands for some really awesome things and says some really awesome, awesome things. So, I can really appreciate that, but the entire, I mean, the show is just genius, and I think the angst at many parts in the first season, of course, the anxieties were so high and you were so nervous for him, um, and I didn't, I don't think I felt as much of that in the second season, but I still loved it, and I didn't like it, like, it didn't make me dislike the show, I loved it at first, I thought it was a little slow, and I was like, I'm kind of over this, um, but after a few episodes in, then I, I really loved it, um, I think just after he killed off Beck's best friend, who was played by Shay Mitchell, Peach, I think the anxieties of that were just so high that you were holding from him of, is he gonna get caught, is, is she gonna catch on, um, and I felt like that magic kind of died because a new girl was coming in, but the end of that season two was just, um, and it really makes you think, um, so you is a dangerously charming, intensely obsessive young man goes to extreme measures to insert himself into the lives of those he is fixated by. So he is an obsessive stalker um, slash killer. Okay, so Sherlock, I have not, I'm going to mention Sherlock, I have not watched Sherlock, but I do want to. Um, my mom says it's a really good show. Okay. Longmire, I have not watched, but my boyfriend and mom both love it. So, I did watch Mindhunter. Not all of it. But I give Mindhunter... Sorry guys, a hiccup. A three out of... I got bored with it. I'm going to be honest, it was 
of one. 